Fake news alert, Trump not getting rich from office, sacrificing fortune to MAGA. From literally the first moment after President Donald Trump's inauguration, liberals have been citing the emoluments clause of the United States Constitution to contend that Trump is illegally benefiting from foreign powers as president by virtue of his Trump organization and its international hotels. But as it turns out, just like that $400,000 salary Trump keeps donating back, the presidency is a money-losing proposition in the business sense too. But Trump is clearly not in it for the money. According to the UK Telegraph, the room rates for the hotel chain that bears Trump's brand have dropped, by more than 60% in some cases, from the time Trump took office. Hotel room rates are a fluctuating commodity. Their pricing depends on a flexible supply and demand situation that varies literally by the day. However, one thing has been steady all year, demand at Trump's hotels has been consistently down, The Telegraph reported. Trending, Hillary gives worst interview to date, talks about being president in alternate earth. At Trump International Las Vegas, the hardest hit property, rates have declined from last January when a two-night stay for a standard double room cost about $850, to a little over $400 for the same stay now, according to The Telegraph. At the Trump International Hotel in Washington, the chain's priciest property and one of the liberals' favorite bugaboos, rates have dropped from a high of $1,650 in January to about $800, according to The Hill. Nick Trend, The Telegraph's travel editor, said there could be a number of factors at work, but the bottom line is that the demand for the Trump brand is not what it was before January 20th. Like airfares, rooms rates are not fixed, they are determined by supply and demand and can change from day by day. Hotels cut them when sales are weak, so a drop in average room rates must reflect a fall in demand for Trump hotels, he said. Several factors may be at play. The strong dollar has reduced tourism to the U.S. generally, for example. But there have been falls in his hotels in Scotland and Vancouver too, and these price cuts are so significant that it seems likely that many potential guests have been put off by the association with the controversial policies, tweets and opinions of the current U.S. president. There's no doubt there's some truth to that. Those who can afford luxury hotels aren't limited in their options. The wealthy clientele can go basically anywhere they wish. And clearly, they don't wish to go to a Trump hotel, whether it's because they don't like the man's policies personally, or don't feel like dealing with the potential hassles of staying somewhere where the prospect of an unpleasant demonstration by unpleasant progressives is always in the air. Related There's also the possibility of terrorism which a Daily Beast reporter was kind enough to forecast in a January Washington Post column. Fortunately, she has yet to be proven prescient. All of those are possible. But one undeniable reality is that the state of the Trump hotel chain rates reflects the support for the president's agenda. And that's something for Trump's voters to cheer about. It wasn't the wealthiest classes of Americans who put Trump into office. That crowd, the ones who can afford spending $500, $1,000 or more a night on travel accommodations, was firmly on the side of failed Democrat candidate Hillary Clinton. Just look at how the country's richest counties voted on Election Day. The millions of men and women who voted Trump into the White House are the American middle class. And Trump still has their support, no matter what the mainstream media might wish. As long as he does, his hotel chain will have to struggle along for a couple more years maybe even seven of them, until he's not the president anymore. Because he's not in it for the money. Like and share on Facebook and Twitter so everyone can see Donald Trump isn't making money from the presidency. Why do you think Trump's hotel rates have dropped since he took office? Scroll down to comment below, and below.